Today we have a new direction. No more moping or sadness or moping about sad things. Everyone has bad days and everyone needs time to recover. But today is not that day because someone very dear and very close to me needs my help. Meet Isabel Knightley, 30. Beautiful, intelligent, wrangler of small children and restaurateur husbands. Happily married for the last six years to one John Knightley, brother to Alex Knightley. Lately, Izzy's been showing signs of discontent in her marriage, and so far her answer is to ignore it and hope it goes away. And as much as everyone likes to think they can, problems do not go away unless you fix them. And if left unchecked, problems tend to get worse. After all, I am Emma Woodhouse and I eat problems for breakfast. Why did I have to hear all that? <laughs> and I'm not 30. Why did you say I was 30? You seem 30. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I know, but if we address the problem now, it can't get any worse. Let's begin, shall we? Fine. So, what do I do? Well, we know that John hasn't been listening to you and your needs in this marriage. Well, he does listen to me, but he just has a different idea. It's usually the better one. But the more practical one. Oh, I know. Those nightly boys can be so very practical. There's nothing to be done about it. Mm, yes, there is. Let's begin by finding a current event or situation in your life that perfectly exemplifies the main theme of your issues. Huh? What does that mean? Are you just making stuff up? No, can you please take this seriously? I will if you start talking like a normal person. Oh, okay. Um, like the house. Okay, the house is a perfect example. You said that you were upset because John didn't think it was a good time to work on the house. Right. I mean, it's not. But fixing the house would make your life a lot easier. That should be a consideration. It's not part of the plan right now. Hmm. So his main reason for ignoring you is because your wants deviate from the original plan. Practical and budget conscious 10 year plan, right? Well, it sounds terrible when you put it that way. I mean, there's more to it than that. I'm willing to let it go. You shouldn't be. You have to stand up for what you want in this marriage. Just answer the question, Izzy. Am I right? I suppose. Source identified. No point to rehash the past. What's done is done. Now we can move on to the future. Okay. So, can you think of anything that's going on at the moment or coming up that's similar in any way? I'm sorry, similar to what? The house. Oh, something that's coming up similar to the house. Uh, we don't have any more houses. No, that's not what I mean. Aside from the house, is there anything that John isn't fully including you on? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. Izzy, come on. Let's hear it. I guess it's a little sad always seeing you after the holidays. I know. Wait, that bothers you? Yeah, of course it bothers me. Watching the decorations being taken down before ever seeing them up, but it's a better time for John. But so not I... for you, that's not right, Izzy. Oh no, Emma, this is something I've accepted, it's Hey, fine. no, don't shrug it off. Those are honest and reasonable feelings. But luckily, there's still something we can do about it. Really? Well, what are we gonna do? You are gonna get this deep tissue massage while Harriet and I come up with a solution. Really? Do you want the massage or not? I, no, I do. But didn't you want to spend more time together? We will, when you get back. Hmm. Well, fine, have it your way, as always. Is this normal? Always, Mrs. Knightley. Enjoy. Okay, Harriet, time to brainstorm. Ready. Here's the problem. Izzy lacks power in their relationship. John makes the decisions and Izzy goes along with them. She wants to be supportive, but because her opinions aren't being heard, she is feeling resentful. Well, then she needs our help. I know. Izzy's marriage is unbalanced, so we need to identify a place where she can take some of the control back. Where? After their visit here, the Knightleys will go on their yearly trip to Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree? It's a lot of rocks and wilderness and, well, Joshua Trees. Oh, didn't Alex go there during Thanksgiving? <laughs> Those Knightley boys love their Joshua Trees. It's as weird as it sounds. Okay. But that doesn't mean Izzy likes it. This time it's different. This time she gets to go where she wants to go. Well, where does she want to go? <gasps> oh, I'm thinking Hawaii. Ooh, ooh. Warm sand, turquoise waters, tropical drinks with little umbrellas in them. Who wouldn't want to go there? It sounds amazing! I know! So here's what I want you to do. Go make a reservation at a Waikiki resort and book their flights. Okay, uh, should I wait for Izzy to get back? No, we'll make it a surprise. Everyone loves surprises. Life's too short. Seize the opportunity. Speaking of... How's your quest for a hobby going? Oh, okay. Um, I responded to an ad online for a dinner group that likes swings, but it wasn't what I thought it was. I can imagine. 
Well, don't give up. It's just a matter of finding the right group to join. It seems so hard. I just went home and played the ukulele. Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad you picked it up again. You can't let things in the past stop you from doing what you love, Harriet. Well, we can talk about that later. Right now, I want you to go and work on Izzy's itinerary. Right away, Emma. <laughs> Izzy is going to be so happy. Back from a massage and a trip to Hawaii, it's a girl's dream come true. Oh, it feels so good to be helping people again. Can I come in already? Or do you have a Manny Petty lined up for me? Izzy, you're back. How was it? How do you feel? Mm, tenderized. Good. We've come up with a solution to all of your problems. Really? Mm -hmm. What did you do? You're going to Hawaii. <gasps> oh, but we're going camping in Joshua Tree. You don't want to go to Joshua Tree. But we go every year. Not a good reason. But John likes it. You don't? Oh, sure I do. I mean, it's nice being at one with nature. Not having hot showers and sleeping in tents on the floor without proper bathrooms. I mean, is it really so awful to want a real bathroom with a hot shower and maybe a jacuzzi tub? And something for the kids to do besides stare at rocks? Keep going. This is a safe space. Let it all out. Tell me more. Well, uh, it's beautiful and all, and John loves it, but just once it would be nice to go somewhere different with new people and new activities. Something like a fancy hotel or resort, maybe lying on the beach with a big fruity drink, warm sand, turquoise waters. Oh, that does sound pretty amazing. I think it's well past time you got the vacation you deserve. Izzy, you need to tell John what you want. What exactly am I telling him? But you don't want to go camping, that instead, you want to go to... Oh... Oh, it's... It's expensive. No, 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 I can't. He won't like it, we'll just end up arguing. No, no, I promise you won't. Don't worry, it's all part of the plan. See, you say plan, I instantly worry. Trust me, John is a rational guy. All you have to do is prove him wrong. Surprise him with a foolproof plan. Okay. That might work. There's no might. You have me. This is what I do. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Oh, God, I'm so nervous. And excited? Yes, and excited. Oh, me too, me too. <laughs>